Hello and welcome to this instructional video from the Zelianople Area Public Library. In this demonstration, we'll be discussing how to borrow ebooks, audiobooks, and other digital resources from Overdrive. All right, so we're ready to begin. Our first step is to go to the library's website, which is located at zelianopellibrary.org. Okay, so here we are at the library's website and it offers a few different methods for taking us to OverDrive. However, we're going to choose one of the shorter ways, which is under the Books tab and the eBooks option underneath it, which if we had clicked on that would take us to this page, which is in fact OverDrive. But before we go on exploring this site, it's likely best practice to sign in for this service first, because if you don't, you're not going to be able to check out anything anyway. So let's go on with that step and click the sign in button to the far right of the screen. Signing in to OverDrive and its services is a fairly painless process. You only need three pieces of information. Number one, where you got your card. Number two, your card number. And number three, the PIN number associated with your library card account. When you do all that, you can click sign in and begin your searching. When we've successfully logged into OverDrive, we're taken back to their home screen, which really looks no different other than the My Account menu appears to the right where the sign in button was. Note that there are important buttons and features under there, but for now, we're going to move on by searching and browsing for materials. And to start that process, we'll begin with the quickest or easiest ways. And option number one in that regard is just to scroll down. There are great curated collections here, topical and popular. So there's a good chance you'll find something you'll like here. But moving back to the top of the screen, you'll notice that there's a magnifying glass, which gives us the option to search for titles we might like. So I saw Jurassic Park down there. Let's put that in and you'll see that it does have even predictive text. So you're going to probably find what you like without even having to type the whole thing in. While those last two methods may represent the quickest paths to what we will borrow, there are other methods available to us. For instance, we'll look at the top left of the screen. There's an option for the kids library, option for Amazon product users, collections, which is more or less more of what we saw down below when we were talking about browsing, and then there's subjects, which gives us this page of choices broken down by subject, of course, and by style, and by topic, and by genre. So really, quite nice that they do this. To finish up talking about how to search for materials for borrowing on OverDrive, we've headed back to its home page. This one last method to discuss essentially combines all the different ways we've seen already. It's called the advanced search. We're able to get to this option by clicking on the magnifying glass once more, but instead of typing, we'll click on the word advanced instead. What's great about this page is that it lets you be specific about what you want. So if you're looking for a book in a certain format, for example, you want an audiobook that's available for checkout immediately because you're traveling this upcoming weekend and it's about the subject of philosophy. Well, the advanced search is going to allow you to do that. As a quick aside, though, it's good to note here that you don't have to use every field that's on this page. You can use as many or as little as you like. Since we've seen about all we can with searching, we'll be moving on to borrowing. And in this first scenario, we'll take out an ebook that is available to us. To make our choice, we simply click on the image of the book cover. Doing so will redirect us to a page that passes along the details about that resource. It even will give us recommendations for similar books at the very bottom. However, since this is the book we do want, we'll simply hit the borrow button next to the book cover image.
For the sake of this demonstration, we also need to see what happens when a title we want is unavailable. To do that, we're going to select Collections and Most Popular because, as we see here, the top four on a wait list. That's actually good for this example. And we're going to put a hold on the first title here where the crawl ad sing. We're going to click the title to get through. And we're going to place a hold. This is actually very nice. As opposed to a physical copy of an item, you're going to see where you stand and how long it might be until the book is ready for you. You might be asking yourself, what are we doing on the home page again? The answer is we need to know where the loans and holds went. There's two options. There's the My Account, which has loans and holds under it. And you have the Book Stack or Bookshelf icon, which will take us to our loans first. And we'll see that there's actually three here, and that's the limit right now. And then there's the Holds page, and you'll see where we are in the wait list and about how long that would be. But let's go back to loans so we can actually give you a look at what this will be like when you're listening or reading in the browser. So let's start with reading. So that just about does it for this video demonstration. In the next few segments here, very quickly, you'll see how to go through an ebook and how to go through an audiobook. Well, that does it for this video introduction to the OverDrive service from the Zelianople Area Public Library. If you have any questions, please do contact us as we're here to help you.